All right, so in this video here, let's take a look at Excel sum function. This is a pretty basic uh, function. Uh, basically what it does, it just, you can add up a range of cells in it. And it's, it's really pretty easy to use. So you can see here I have different columns for different months and, <clears throat> and just say it's the uh, amount of sales that each person did in the in the months January through August. And what I want to do is I want to add up the total number of sales for January. Okay. So all I would do to sum this up is you hit your equal sign. And when you hit the equal sign that means it's ready for you to put a formula in. And what I would do is I would type in sum because that's what I want to do. I want to sum them. And you can see we have this little drop down here. <clears throat> and I can either double click the I can either double click this sum function here or I can just finish typing it myself by putting a parenthesis. Uh, if you if you double click it yourself, that's exactly what it does. It, it'll it'll capitalize it and put a parenthesis, but uh, and then it asks for the numbers. It wants you to it asks for the numbers to enter. And so I want to add up this column here for January. I want to see what the total sales were for January. And so all I would do is I would just left click and hold my left mouse button down and just drag okay drag it all the way down to everything I wanna include in the in the in the total alright and then you can close the parentheses or you can leave the parentheses open Excel will automatically put a parenthesis in there for you if you just hit enter alright so I'll close the parentheses and hit enter and there it gives me my total and so maybe I want to sum up the rest of these columns also so I could repeat the process hit equal sum parenthesis and highlight the column okay close my parenthesis and then hit enter and there's the sum for that column and then I would have to continue on for the next columns but instead of doing that what we can do is see we already have the formula here you can see it's summing up B2 to B6 this part right here okay now what I can do is I can just copy this formula over to the other cells and with the cell highlighted here with with the sum formula in it if you if you can see this this uh, the cells highlighted in this bottom right hand corner there's a little square there so I'm gonna put my cursor over that and you notice how it changes from a from that big plus to a smaller one okay so all you do is just left click and hold your left mouse button down and you just drag it all the way to the right and you let go and it automatically copies that formula to these cells here and you can see you can see here that this is summing up B2 to B6 see B2 to B6 and if we go to this one you can see it's going from C2 to C6 and that's a way that you can you know if you have several columns you want to fill up you can do that alright and so now let's let's suppose maybe we want to uh, get a total sales for John okay now, let's see let me let me decrease this column width here let me decrease that so I can get the this cell over here in and so <clears throat> all I would do is I would do the same thing. I would hit equals and then whoop, type in sum, open parentheses, and then I want to sum this row here. So I just left click on the first cell, hold my left mouse button down, and drag it 
all the way to the last value and then I can let go and this time let's just hit enter instead of putting a parenthesis and I hit enter and there's my total <clears throat> and so now maybe I want to copy this down and have the total for Bill, Ted, Bob, and Stan. Now we're copying down so what I can do is the same thing as I did over here you see how it changes okay so I can just left click hold it down and drag and it and the sum formula automatically uh, copies and you can see here see this is from B2 to I2 B2 cell B2 to cell I2 and this one is going from B3 to I3 okay now let me show you one other thing here I'm gonna erase this so you noticed the first time we did this how we put our mouse here and how it changes and I left click and I drug it down another way we can copy this see there's no spaces here there, there's no empty cells all these rows are filled so what I can do is I do the same thing you see how it changes and then on this little this little square when you have your uh, cursor to, with the small plus all you have to do is double click it just double click it and it copies it down okay all right and then let's suppose I want to get a overall total I want to know the all, the entire total of sales okay so let me move this column back out so these values over here are probably going to be cut off a little bit but that's fine all right <clears throat> so now suppose I want to know the sum of all of this well I can just use my equals my sum formula parenthesis and I want to sum all of these numbers so I left click here hold it down and I highlight all of the numbers okay and then I can hit enter alright and it sums it up but if you notice these uh, these hashtags here see if I put my mouse over it it displays the the amount so what this means is that the column just isn't wide enough to display the number so all I have to do is I want to I want to make column B a little bit wider so I can so it'll display this answer here so all I do is I see column B and column C okay you see how that does okay what I want to do is put right in between column B and column C and you see how the see how the cursor changes and I just left click hold it down and I just drag it to the right a little bit and there it is okay so I hope this video's helped uh, <clears throat> I hope you'll check out my other videos and if you like it you can subscribe I'm gonna do some more videos on Excel functions and maybe we'll get into some more complicated ones uh, okay thanks